Hi friends! So today is Tuesday, August the 6th, and today the moon is in the sign of Scorpio. It is a waxing crescent moving toward the first quarter uh, moon in Scorpio, and it will be in Scorpio today, Tuesday, Wednesday, all day, all night Wednesday, until Thursday morning around 8 a.m. On Thursday, from 8 a.m. until about 9 p.m. So most of the day on Thursday will be a void moon. So we want to just keep that in mind as we move forward. But for today and tomorrow uh, in this Scorpio moon time, um, it's a water moon. And so water moons are always important times to remember to slow down, to drop inside, to shift the focus as much as possible, to shift the focus inward. Um, to take some time for self-care, for rest, for restoration, even if that means just getting some extra sleep over these next couple of days, getting some quiet time, some time alone, really leaning toward your, um, your stillness practices. Um, how do you best tune in? Cultivate your inner listening skills. Cultivate your skills for listening to others. Um, let this be a time of sort of deepening awareness, deepening sort of intuitive understanding and knowing. So um, engaging in perhaps what sometimes is helpful is a, a stop practice, recognizing when we get sort of swirling and too stirred up and that we can just stop, take a breath, take a moment, and really return to the present moment and recognize what is really true in the moment that you are in. Um, so the waxing in first quarter energy that's here is there's a sense of a building and there's a sense of a kind of growing and you know into fullness or into an intensity and so um, sometimes we can feel like we want to get things moving we want to get going we want to make things happen things and, and so it can be sometimes challenging to feel when we when we hit these water moon times of like you know where things need to sort of settle and things need to deepen. Um, it can sort of feel sometimes a little frustrating. So what we want to do with this practice of following the moon is to really uh, work with it. So so just recognizing that if you're feeling um, you know, a little stirred up or feeling more emotional over these next couple of days to remember that that's actually the energy that we're all sort of immersed in. And so use that to, um, to your benefit. Use this time as a way to, to track into any of those patterns of self-sabotage or those ways that you try to avoid or you try to jump over the deeper feelings or the deeper needs. Um, this is an excellent time for healing work, for getting a session of any kind, for looking at your you know, deeper inner patterns. Um, Scorpio loves to dive into the unconscious and dig around in there. Um, so let go with that if that's, um, if that's appropriate and helpful for you right now. This is a perfect time for really leaning towards the practice, the meta practices of loving kindness, of self-compassion, of really taking care of the self and others from, from a place of empathy and a place of understanding. So really take sweet care of yourself, especially these next couple of days and drink plenty of water, engage in the water element, um, let yourself be sort of soaking and softening. Okay, so that is today, Tuesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, and then remember Thursday is a big chunk of void moon. When we get into Friday and Saturday, we get to Sagittarius. We get to another fire moon and the beginning of kind of another cycle of productivity. So sort of let yourself prepare for that in this time of Scorpio and water time. Get plenty of restoration so that you're ready for that fire and that Sagittarius energy on Friday and Saturday. Okay, much love. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.